like these big gray dollies. You know, I like that kind of fifth, fifth wheel where you got to pull it out, pull it up. And, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but you can kind of see the groove right there, what you got to do with that fifth wheel handle. But I like this. Uh, this right here is one of those push button deals. Now it says emergency brake release. That's basically what it is. When you unhook everything, you're trying to you're trying to move your dolly. Well, that air is you know locking those brakes up, so you got to push that, and then it will release your brakes on your dolly. And that's basically all I was trying to say yesterday. But I'm here today and I'm taking this set to St. Louis. Yeah, had to stop in here, give me some snacks. Which one's mine, I wonder? I wonder, I wonder. No, I'm just kidding, it's this one right here. Obviously, the one with the lights on it, halfway in the fuel island so nobody gets behind me. This is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about taking a break in the fuel island. Nobody else is here, you see what I mean? Perfect time. Not a lot has happened today. I came down to St. Louis, dropped the set. Didn't think I was gonna get anything. I had about three hours and 40 minutes left and he called Central for me. Next thing you know, <laughs> I'm hooking up a set. I'm going to Bloomington, Illinois. I keep getting questions about auto and manual. Auto or manual? Well, I'm gonna tell you that uh, this sucker that I drive every day is a manual. It's a 10 speed. The ground's a little icy out here, so that's why I'm kind of taking it slow, taking my time. It's a little icy. I don't want to slip and fall. And, uh, as you can tell my truck interior light doesn't really work all that well here you go guys freaking 10 speed 10 speed manual transmission eaton fuller that's what i drive every day and uh you know it is what it is the new trucks are uh, automatics but you know you might get a 10 speed you just never know so go ahead and get that automatic restriction off your license if you have one because you're probably going to end up driving a stick over here at some point. So, especially if you get a loaner truck, your truck goes in the shop, you might end up driving a stick. If you're out in the middle of nowhere and you feel unsafe and you need to pull over, is SS going to find you a hotel or what's going to happen in that situation? Okay, here's what's going to happen. First, uh, pull off to the side of the road. They may want to know where you are, so the first thing you may want to do is find a hotel. So you may be wondering, well, how in the world do I find a hotel? Uh, well, we have a CLC lodging app, and anyone can download it. I mean, I found it on the App Store, and I've actually had this app in the past, but never had to use it, ended up deleting it. But if you are out in that situation, you can use this app, type in your current location, or have it set to where uh, it knows where you are you know go to location settings turn it on all that stuff and then uh, you can look up to 30 miles of your location for a CLC lodging spot and then you go ahead and put that in your GPS or whatever and then call central and let them know hey I'm gonna be here I'm done driving whatever be polite you know they're usually polite to you so might as well be nice to them but let them know that uh, you know you're done driving it's unsafe and I'm going to this hotel this is where I'll be and uh, I'll let you know when it gets clear out here and you you know obviously go to the hotel room monitor the weather go to sleep do whatever you want to do and how you set that up is you log into it with uh, your first initial your last name and then your CLC card number as your password and then boom it locks you right in and click the remember me button that way the next time you open your app and it says log in you just got to hit sign in and you're done. So that's how all that works. I don't know how other LTL carriers are, but I can tell you one thing at Estes, get you some of these, get yourself some of these wipes because let me tell you, you'll get grease on your hands. I even have this stuff in a bottle a soap. Um, it's orange soap. Now we have them usually at every terminal, if you go to the men's restroom at the terminal, uh, they're usually a dispenser with this stuff in it. But sometimes, I, when I first started working here, I go into some terminals and they would be empty. And I said, damn it. So I ended up finding these, I think at Walmart. Uh, some truck stops carry them. And they're just wipes. They're like wet wipes, but they're, you know, they cut through grease and stuff on your hands. On your, I used to get it, especially when you wear short sleeve shirts. You might get grease on your arm because you reached up under there, 
under the you know the trailer to release the fifth wheel you might just barely touch it you got grease all over your freaking arm now you're like, gosh you gotta go in the bathroom and then there's no soap in the dispenser what do you do well you can either get you a little jug a little bottle it's like a pint sized bottle of um of uh, fast orange or gojo and that's what you want now these are technically this is fast orange but i do have i had some gojo wipes the gojo makes the wipes too um, but man, that stuff comes in handy like you would not believe because you'll get dirty almost on a daily basis. But uh, this right here ain't gonna matter because you can get it off your hands. I'm telling you, this this is fast orange. I believe I got this at the truck stop the other day. But uh, I've had the Gojo wipes in the past. Either one works. Gojo's probably a little better. But this will take the grease off your arms, off your hands. And it will look just like you went in there and used the gojo soap and water i mean it, it works great it works fantastic highly recommended but obviously the gojo wipes are better but these aren't bad either good secondary so get you some of them started my day in wichita you know like i said yesterday i got down here last night man i had three hours on my clock i thought oh yeah i'm gonna go to uh, oklahoma city didn't work out but i did get up today so yesterday was 513 miles today was damn near 630 miles and i just went from wichita to st louis uh dropped a set got another set brought it up here to bloomington and that was it i mean that's all it was to it <laughs> i made two stops basically and uh, i'm in the hotel room now i'm gonna take my 10 hour break and hopefully head south tomorrow going to going home going home tomorrow guys so uh, when I say tomorrow, I mean Tuesday. I don't know what day you're watching this, but Tuesday, uh, I'm going home. So I hope that happens. And if it does, you'll see me again Friday. If not, um, you know, I, I'll continuously monitor YouTube. I monitor YouTube when I'm at home and things like that, but, and emails as well. I just don't upload anything. I may even respond to some stuff. I just don't upload any videos while I'm at home because, hey, I'm at home with my family. And I don't even really talk on the phone when I'm at home, usually. Unless I'm out running an errand by myself, I might. But uh, that's not all the time. So, I really don't have nothing else to say. Y'all have a good one. See you in a couple days.